this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. Man, we had a real great Bible study this morning. We talked about Romans 6 that says to be cardinally minded as death or be spiritually minded as life and peace. We talked about the fact is that we really did uh, dig down into the scriptures, the, the, the challenge of things that goes against all of us for the peace of mind. The peace of mind is it passes all understanding. And we, we, we focus on the fact that the last week that we're no longer under the law. You know, I love some people say they want the law. We have to have the law because we need these guardrails. And we already realize from history, those guardrails have fallen, have failed to keep us to do the right thing. But the guardrails of love, John 13, 34, so this is a new commandment I've given to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. So we, <laughs> we want to be able to start operating in love, man, love for one another. See, Romans 8 verse 1 said, there's now therefore no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We even know the fact is that in, 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 the, in the scriptures that you're going to see in the Bible study, we even know the fact is that those are in the flesh cannot please God and that the laws of God are not subject to them. Oh, that's a marvel thing for people to understand. We try to put the law on people, but the laws of God is not subject to those who are in the flesh. Being carnally minded, you are not under the laws of God because you're already condemned. This is talking about having a eternal life in Christ Jesus. Those who don't believe in eternal life, they're already condemned. Those who don't want to believe in Jesus Christ, they're already condemned. But those of us who have received Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, we have eternal life. And we're not, we're not cardinally minded, but we're spiritually minded, and spiritually minded being word minded. So really take a look at the study that we did today, this Sunday, and I guarantee you'll love it. And the other piece we found out too, and I want to study a little bit more that I want you to study on with me as well, look into it until the next time we talk, is the difference between feeling and believing. See, John 3.16 says, To God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, to whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So he interested the fact he said, believe, right? And then we talk about feelings. And, and the fact is that sometimes we feel like something ain't right. We sometimes say we, we may believe some people, I believe people think in this way about me, but you don't really, you have nothing, your foundation of belief is not in believing in God, but believing in your feelings, and your feelings, in most cases, is based derived from your senses. And then if you go by your senses, and which means your flesh, Romans 7 said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. So let's think about that and study that a little bit more. I want you to meditate on until the next time we, we have a study. Feeling versus believing. I really believe and believe in God, not believe in my ability, not believe in your ability, not believe in the world ability, not believe in man's ability. See, even we have a situation dealing with racism. <laughs> Somebody's believing in their flesh. The son that believe in the flesh, but the, the, the of superiority based on their white. Some believe in the flesh based on superiority of, the, of being black. Those beliefs has weak foundations. Believing in God has the power and the might of God. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next Sunday. We also have Thursday night videos, a live session, so you're welcome to join there as well. Remember, we walk by faith, not by sight, and don't forget we love one another. Amen? Hallelujah. It was great study. Please take time to look at it. All right. Hope you enjoy the videos. Bye. <laughs>
and most people want it, brother. You know, everybody wants peace. I, I, I don't know, and I'm talking about peace of mind. Everybody wants peace of mind, right? Yeah, it may and, not think that's their priority, but, but when priority. take it away and, and see what happens. I know it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And you know, I, I was, and I want to tie that in with the current political stuff that's going on is people peace is 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 being skewed because of what they're believing hoping you know with their foundation you know when you remember that, i'm mean, scared about the foundation if you're on a rock and the wind and the rain comes you don't fall because you're on a rock you're on a foundation and, and when you're on a rock you have peace because you know you're going to still be there after the storm but if you have your foundation on something else, that's why when you were talking about, I don't normally ask for things from God concerning physical stuff. Mm -hmm. because, because my foundation is not in the stuff. My foundation is in him. Yeah. And he will provide those <laughs> things for me. And, and, and I'm not saying that to be all no. You know, lofty and everything like that. No, there was a time when that was how I prayed. Yeah. You know, that, that was my, you know, uh, that was my statement of faith. Homes and better homes, jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions. Yeah. You know, bills paid off, bills decrease, blessings increase. I mean, it was just a whole, you know, <laughs> saying to just go with that and you know as i grew in god's word those are byproducts yes sir you know i don't want the byproduct i want the product i want the product i want i want the 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 you know i don't want the I, you know, I don't want the skin on the apple. I want the fruit of the apple. Oh, yes, <laughs> I the yes, sir. I want the orange peel. I want the, the orange. I want the orange. I want the banana peel. I want the banana. Come on, man. <laughs> <I want. laughs> hey, and I think that's what he wants us to feel that way, you know? But And, and, and I think if, if we really get people and ourselves to understand, man, that my mind, my peace of mind is knowing who he is. And he's a reward of those who diligently seek him. So I don't, that's why I thought it'd be good when you were saying about that. And because your Bible study just really just uh, blew my mind. I really want to study a little bit back. I'm going to go back and do some study on feeling and believing. Yeah. I, 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 huh? It was, I said it was a good question. Yeah, feeling versus believing. And and the devil likes to bring the doubt in. I mean, even when he did it with, he did it with Adam and Eve, and he did it with Jesus. And the difference mm -hmm. was that Jesus responded by saying, it is written. Yeah. It's obvious it was a temptation that, that because you wouldn't call it a temptation if it wasn't a temptation. Yeah. Uh, and, and the biggest one was about, I always going to keep riding on this one about the last one. He showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And he said, I give all this glory unto you if you bow down and worship me. Mm -hmm. And the question is, when, when our peace is broken, when we allow these stuff to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. You know what I mean? That's why I'm saying the peace that surpasses all the understanding. That's why I'm thinking I like Romans 6. To be constantly minded is death. I have no peace there because I'm constantly living in a, a world of sin and death. But if I'm in the spirit, then he said to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And I think if we teach the people today, whoever's going to listen to this, I'm going to break. I, I didn't stop like uh, last Sunday. You know, I, I stayed every 10, 15 minutes and, and stopped the live video. I, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and let it run through. And then I'm going to just download it. And then I'm just going to break it up into, you know, little segments. Yeah. This is my intent. But, but. You, 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 don't have, 
what you have anyway. <laughs> according to how it I said, you don't know what's available anyway, according to how it started. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know, just today anyway. <laughs> today was all jacked up, so that, it threw me off. Thank God for persist, persistence, you know, uh -huh. and, yeah. and look, what, look what came about. I mean, I was blessed. I'm truly blessed. I mean, I thank God uh, what the Holy Spirit shared uh, on this Bible study today. It, it blessed me. Amen. I do, I do. That, that came out. It's like you said, you didn't get that from man. Come on, man. Come on, brother. <laughs> I said it there. I, yeah, I didn't get that from me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And you can tell what happened. Uh -uh. God was working on you today. I saw you saw that, man. He was like, go preach, brother. Go preach. <laughs> well, you told me to. <laughs> Amen. A revelation came, you go with it. Let God yeah. for because it's, it's it's for somebody else. Yeah. Even though it's for ourselves and for somebody else, you know. So I think that was a blessing. Um, you you should finish reading that this 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 slide though. We didn't finish reading it. We better read it before we go. Uh, that way we can pick up next week or something else. Uh, okay. You you didn't read seven through eleven. Okay. Okay, I'll start at six. For to be kind minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Life and peace. Life and peace. Yes, sir. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. Yes, For it is sir. not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Hmm. So they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Well, they that are in the flesh cannot. Please God. Well, so you but can't get a feeling of pleasing God. Huh? Yes. But you're not in the flesh. No. But in the spirit. Yes. And so do that, the spirit of God dwell in you. Come on, brother. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. None. No matter how much scripture you have. None. If you don't have the spirit of Christ, he is none, none. of his. Come he on. is not in the body. Woo! And Christ be in you, the <laughs> body is dead because of sin. Yes. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Yes. Not by anything that we have done. None. Because of God, we are in right standing. Because of Jesus Christ, we are in right standing. Exactly. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, well, that raised up Christ from the dead <laughs> shall also quicken your mortal body by his spirit that dwelleth in you. So because of the spirit that's in you, yes. your flesh is sanctified Come on. to the things of God. Woo! So your your body is there's nothing good in it. Nothing. Nothing, brother. Nothing. That flesh cannot please God. No. But because of the spirit that dwells within. Yes. Yes. You know, matter of fact, I want to throw something else that caught my attention when you was reading that. When that brother that we were talking about last week that says we are under the law. And the scripture clearly says right here for a cardinal mind, so being under the law is being cardinal. Yeah. In other words, you're trying to do everything based on your flesh. He said, because the cardinal mind, verse 7, is enmity against God for look, It is not subject. He said we're under the law, but I'm saying is you, the cardinal mind is not subject to, you see what I'm saying? There? Are you reading what's coming? Are you reading the scripture? Are you hearing the words come out of my mouth? It says a cardinal mind is not subject to the laws of God. We're holding people, we're judging people who don't even believe in God and get, getting all wrapped up, tangled up, and upset if you're cardinally minded. It's not subject. What do you think about that scripture? I think that scripture clearly defines this one thing. The law is not spirit. Nope. 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 
Nope. So to be lawfully minded or to be knowledge, to be a, a Pharisee or a Sadducee or, or an old school lawyer, which was according to the law, a lawyer, law. Yeah. Their mind was unto death. Yes. Well, that's the law of sin and death, right? That's what yeah. it is, right? Sin and death. Yeah. Because you're 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 only being shown how you're going to sin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. all it's showing. It's showing you how you will sin. And you will sin in one of these areas. And if yeah. you take one, then you sin in all of them. All of them. Remember that? That was the scripture said all. Yeah. So, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And so there is the separation between the law and the spirit, that which is the grace of God, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's that. That's the pastor's all the understanding. That's a the whole new covenant. There's an old covenant and a new covenant. Yes. Yes. Because so you already did. The old covenant has been fulfilled. Yeah. And a new covenant has been given. And the old covenant died with Christ. Uh huh. And we know that if a woman mm. who is married to a man come on now down <laughs> to that first covenant hey! not move out of that covenant uh -huh. but when that man dies Woo! she is free to move on come on and now. we are the bride of Christ uh -huh. and when Christ died he ushered in a new covenant a new covenant and we are married to him again. We have a choice mm -hmm. to marry him again. So uh, this is good word. Amen, sir. Amen. Right. And I like it. Last close up with that Sandy saying a better covenant where has been given. Yeah. You know a that? New and better covenant. A new and better covenant full of grace and mercy. And, and I like the fact that I. I'm pretty sure back in those days, they didn't have the peace that Christ promised the believer today. But the believer has to stay in Christ to get that peace. Yeah. That surpasses all understanding. The peace of God. Amen? Amen. Father, I want you to have a good week. Me too. Uh, and uh, I try to catch you. Uh, maybe we can link up on Thursday. Uh, yeah. But, uh, God bless you. And hey, look, we still miss our brother. I still miss, uh, I gave, uh, I put my slides up with Brother Elder Johnson up for a whole month, you know, because uh, we, we miss him. Uh, and all I know is that brother's up there seeing the wonders of heaven. I bet he don't miss us. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a blink. I think it's almost because he's out of time. Yeah. And, and, and that's one thing that God revealed to me. You know, the Bible says to be absent of the body is to be present with the Lord. So yeah. to be present with the Lord, you have to have endured the rapture. Yes. You know, because you're out of time. You in the moment his body, you're out of time. So you're, you're of time. in that rapture. Yes, sir. You, you, you are caught if you're in Christ. Yes, sir. So you're already in that moment. You, you, yes, you know, you're, I mean, it's, 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 you know, my mom passed a few years ago. Uh -huh. And she saw me before she passed, before she, 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 she um, moved on. But from that time, from her seeing me to where I transfigured, it's, it's, it's of a vapor of a moment. I mean, right. it, 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 it's, it's, her it child. kind of doesn't exist. So it does. It doesn't. She closed her eyes and opened, and, and we were in glory. Hey Amen. She's already rejoiced. Hey! <laughs> so, so, uh, when we see Elder, it's going to be like, you know, he just had Bible study with us one day, and then the next, 
We 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 need the Lord. You exactly. know, I mean, yeah. Uh, I, I just thank God for that, for that yeah. revelation that He's shown me that uh, you know, how can they miss us when we're there because they're they're out of time. Exactly. exactly. When I say out of time, meaning you know that their time has run out. No, yeah, they're in time. eternity. Right. And we're in time. Exactly. They're out, let me put it, they're outside of time. <laughs> time is, is but this, and they're everything else everything. around. Exactly. So as soon as I move out of this, I'm already, <laughs> you know. Amen, it's, brother. It's, Come out. It's amazing. It's amazing. It it's is amazing. amazing. Hey, prayers out, good brother. Prayers out. All right. Well, Father, we mutually thank you for another awesome day of, of Bible study. We thank, thank you. you for those who are able to uh, witness the things that were said, to hear, to hold fast, and to believe. Lord, we pray that these truths that were shared to you, the revelations that were given by the Holy Spirit and through your word, Lord God, that they fall on good ground, that they yes. bring forth fruit in the lives of those who will listen and believe. Yes. And that they bring life and peace to everyone yes. who receives. Lord God, we truly thank you that this world is, is life sustaining. We thank you that it is uh, an avenue toward peace. We thank you that the revelations uh, that are made, Lord God, we know without a shadow of a doubt that they came from you. Came from and you. we just truly give you the glory and honor for that. We take none of that. None of we take that it is all you, Father, and we just look forward to uh, the coming days, Lord God. We look forward to being able to have moments to share your gospel, to share uh, your word, to share you, Father, to yes. be an example, Lord God, a good example of Jesus Christ. Yes, good example. You know, to properly uh, demonstrate you, Lord God. With power. Yes. With signs following, Father. Yes. And we just thank you. Yeah, and we're going to move from faith to faith, Lord God. And uh, to be your will that we show up and see each other again. Lord God, we give you the thanks for that. And as we leave this particular meeting, this venue, uh, we'll never leave your uh, presence. Yes. And we just thank you. And give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, brother. Enjoy your week and enjoy that golfing. <laughs> you see Bishop out yeah. there sometime? <laughs> I saw him. Uh, we we didn't golf together. I was leaving and I saw him coming up, you know, playing. I thought I was going to have a chance to play with him one day. I saw some guys he normally play with and I ended up playing with him and didn't see him. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, I miss these brothers. Yeah, I really do. But, yeah, he, uh, he got his uh, Bible. He's doing that service at uh, that building. He said he's starting again. They don't have an agenda. He said, let the Holy Spirit lead them. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe we need, I tell him, say, we might need to join you with join in and set up Zoom so everybody else can participate as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll check them out. All right. Well, you be blessed and uh, uh, over and see you Thursday. God bless. Bye. Bye.